What the f***? All right, my bad, y'all. Let's do it. I went live one day, and I said I had the biggest comeback in 2018, and somebody in the comments said, Tiger. And I was just like, Tiger? Tiger had the biggest, man, get the f out of here, I don't feel like he had no big comeback to me, you know what I'm saying? Y'all tried to count me out, I ain't forgot about that shit. And then, like, that shit started going viral, and then I had went to do the breakfast club, like, the next day. You just didn't have the biggest comeback in 2018. In order to have the biggest comeback, you got to come back with a massive hit. Cause you are a musical artist. Tiger? <laughs> this <laughs> sitting right here talk about Tiger. <laughs> that that lost his to Travis Scott. Oh shit. <laughs> Maybe you and Tiger could do a song together. I love Tiger. When you go borrow, you own. Oh, my bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cheetos, cut that check, cousin. I look at memes what? and viral go hand in hand. If you get turned into a meme, you're viral. If you're viral, you're damn near a meme. Be, be with Drake, the biggest rapper in the world. <laughs> yeah, Drake? <laughs> Drake? <laughs> the got body by Pusha T? <laughs> the nigga is hiding his kid from the world, but his world wanna hide from the kid? <laughs> Arby <laughs> Graham in the wheelchair? Drake? Yes! Stop playing with me. One made a video like, uh, what would it be like if Soldier Boy was in your high school? And then he came to school, he like, the teacher like, man, Soldier, you late. He like, late? He like, man, you about, to fail. you about to get an F on all your grades. He like, grades? I was just like, damn, really taking my lingo and like using this shit, like, and it's going viral, like, it's crazy, bro. Stop telling me like I ain't teach Drake everything he know. Hold on, you taught Drake everything he know. Y'all ain't hear Drake on his first song. Tell me what's really going on. Drizzy Drake back in this thing already. What's that? That's oh, Soldier. That's oh, my bar. He copy my oh. whole. First time I heard Drake use my line, I ain't know what was going on. <laughs> For real, I am like, is this a glitch in the Matrix? What the going on? This is my whole. This is tripping. Tell me. What's really going on? Drizzy back up in this thing, I'm ready. What's happening? Tell me what's really going on. Soldier for up in this thing, I'm ready. What's happening? It was his biggest hit, first hit. And that was my underground song for my fans. So that means you was watching me when you was still on the grassy. You was watching me when I was in the streets. You was watching me before I even got signed. What's happening? Man, you know ain't nobody giving me my credit before the Breakfast Club. I had to go check everybody, you know that? I had to turn up on the whole everybody. You bro, you don't hear every underground they rapping like me. Stop watching. I just said I don't want to chop it, man. We finna take Ariana Grande down, man. I want everything, man. Cut my check, man. I got the real team on you, man. Warner Brothers, man. We coming. You stole my whole s You tripping. You can't just take from the culture like that and just don't, just try to little boy me like, yeah, I'm just not here, bro. Like, I just ain't had the beats come back in 2018. You gonna steal my flow, bro. You tripping. I started this, bro. Why y'all think y'all got this camera? Charlamagne, why you think y'all got all these cameras in here right now? Why you think you got that camera right there looking at me right now? Oh, I, I've been doing this YouTube. I was the first artist on social media. I agree media. with you on that. 100%. I was the first artist on YouTube. The I, first artist. I agree with you. These record labels set their blueprint behind me. I'm the reason why they streaming right now. I've always... When I first came out, they said hip-hop was dead. They said I killed hip-hop. Why? Because I produced Crank That, and I wrote Crank That, and it sold 15 million ringtones, and it went diamond. Mm -hmm. It sold 10 million copies. The, uh, the first ever song to ever do that digitally. I'm the reason y'all doing this. I'm the reason why all these artists have social media. Y'all should thank me. Every artist in the game, all y'all record labels, y'all owe me 5%, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Big Draco! I was like, oh, hell no. Y'all got me up. This what going on? Oh, no, I done put them on. Oh, what? Them? Oh, they used to sleep on my couch. Oh, he, he took my flow. That, oh, that's my song. Hold on. 
Hold the f up, everybody, real quick. Let me get my check. Okay, cool. Let me get another check. Okay, cool. Let me get a couple more checks. Cool. Let me get an award. All right, put me on tour. Cool. Let me get. All right, let me get a couple bad. Let me fuck his baby mama. I need his too. Okay, cool. Give me a McLaren, Bentley truck, mansion in Malibu. All right, I need a couple more. All right, cool. I want this too. I want everything. Y'all got me up. She paid me, she called me, we talked, we did it. You know what I'm saying? That's how you supposed to do it. Beyonce, man, yo, y'all gotta take notes from Beyonce, bro. God damn, I'm still getting paid from that song to this day. Did I win a Grammy from that song? Did she win a Grammy off that? Did we win a Grammy? Did she win a Grammy? I won the Grammy, I'm part of that. I won the Grammy too. You know what I'm saying? I love Beyonce, that's how Drake's supposed to did it. I feel like the internet is undefeated, man, you know what I'm saying? So they always gonna get like the good joke, the good stuff, it's fine. So like when you on the end of the joke, you can't be mad because like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's hella people on the other end of the jokes. That was at the BET Awards and that was doing a tribute for Whitney Houston. She really died, bro. That's like. I know I should be the way you are. Now I can cry wherever I want to cry. Slap the shit out you, you know what I'm saying? Try to make the joke out this. When I'm gonna be not sad because the internet clown me on some shit, but I was sad. I still am sad. She's still gone. I love the memes, I love the social media, you know? They say I'm a, I'm a superstar. Go to YouTube and type in Soulja Boy, first ever YouTube video, it's still there. It's just me sitting with a big ass train on, with some nappy ass hair. I was sitting in my daddy truck with some big ass rims, and just talking shit. like, man, I'm finna take over the rap game. I was like 14. Hey, what's up, man? This is the Soulja Boy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think this the game, but this ain't no game, you know what I'm saying? I'm riding big time on the 22, you know what I'm saying? And that shit went viral, it got like a million views. I got a deal, it was black. I had downloaded Fruit Loops on there, started making beats. Just started going in, I made Crank That, that shit went viral. Over five million plays, I'm unsigned and major. I uploaded the YouTube, that shit got like 14 million. Then after we put that dance with it, and it did like 20 million, and I just knew, I was like, bro, I'm finna get rich. Everybody did the crank that. Everybody. Beyonce, everybody. From Chicago, New York, Atlanta. I done went viral before the word was viral. My first album was called SoldierBoyTellem.com and it went platinum. And I had a website that was called SoldierBoyTellem.com that you could really go to that was making like millions every week. So I really like finessed the whole game. I'm gonna tell you a true story. You ready true story? Apple came to the Crank That video shoot and they gave me the first ever iPhone. And when they gave it to me, the white man walked up to me right from Apple. He walked up to me with the first ever iPhone in a box. I was standing in the swimming pool. Y'all remember when I was in the swimming pool and I was teaching everybody how to do the dance? He gave me the phone. I take the phone out the box. I grabbed the phone and like within two seconds of me grabbing the phone, it fell out of my hand and, and broke to pieces. The first ever iPhone, bruh. The top from Apple, like, it's a big deal. Like, we give it so much for the iPhone, like, you know what I'm saying? He take the out the box, give it to me. I'm talking about as soon as, yes, Steve Jobs. Rest in peace, literally, as soon as he gave me the phone, that went wins. I got a case on this bitch. It slid, said, zoop, and it dropped down and it said, crap, boom, and a hug. And every, every man, they jaw just dropped. <gasps> All the white people was looking at me. I was like, oh, shit. That was like, soldier, what the f did you just do? I'm like, man, like, I don't know why the f y'all give me this damn phone. Y'all know I'm all crunk and shit. I'm about to, I'm, t I'm dancing doing the crank day. I ain't got time for no f glass phone. Like, you know what I'm saying? The broke the pieces, but when it hit the flow, that was like,
Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We'll get you another one. We'll get you another one. You know what I'm saying? And like they came, I think they came at like uh, the next day after, the, and they brought me another one. You know what I'm saying? I was the first with it for like some months. But that's a cool little Apple story, though. Soldier Boy. <laughs> yes, sir. What's happening, Chuck Chuck? I'm a run for president. <laughs> what? I'm looking at something ain't like lie. This to my, I'm gonna run for president. I'm like, bro, now y'all throwing words in my mouth. I mean, you really think you got what it takes to take down Donald Trump? 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 Don't be putting words in my mouth. I never said I was gonna run for the president. Who, what producer, who wrote the script, who thought it was a cool idea to say I was gonna run for the president? Y'all could not handle me as a president. I'm telling you that now, I'm putting you down. I'm gonna have everybody, hey, free everybody, hey man, free all my niggas that got marijuana charges. Let them out, man. Boom, hey, yo man, uh, a million dollar check to all my African American families, slavery reparations, man. Hey, 40 acres and two mules. You see what I'm saying? I'm putting you down. Nah, for real, you don't want me to be the president. It's gonna be lit around this <laughs> the purge. Hey, man, no police, no cap. Fend for yourself, get your scraps, son. You a bitch, you just a bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't want me to be the president. I had this shit too lit, man. For real, Jack, no cap. No cap. Soldier care. You know what I'm mean? saying? Soldier care, man. Free Medicaid, free food stamps. <laughs> it's my year, 2019, my year, and 2020. 2021, I'm retiring. Yeah, 2021, I'll start rapping, bro. I'm doing, I'm gonna own like a, a tech company and just do tech and, and be a CEO, sign rappers. I'm not trying to be no 30 year old rapper, bro. That's just not my swag, bro. 30 years old, I gotta put the suit on and kick the CEO up, sign a little, let my little run the rap game. I got a lot of little ready to rap. You know what I'm saying? I'm 10 years in, made all these millions. What I look like rapping at 30 and shit, like, the f that's lame as hell. I'm a young the whole shit was built off doing young You know what I'm saying? Rapping is a young Boom, I'm really in the streets, I'm in the trap, boom, whooping the pot, beating the pot, boom. 30, I'm having kids, cooling out with m and y'all tripping. What I look like at 30, oh, with the swag and dripping, ha. Watch out, boy, you tripping. We are honored to present the Social Verified Award to my crazy homeboy, Soldier Boy! Big Soldier! I had the biggest comeback in 2018, man. Shout out to BET though, because they endorsed. Look at me, I'm sitting on BET, bro. You know, I dreamed of being on BET. When I was in the hood, I used to watch BET every day. The whole main goal was to get on BET. That was the goal from the hood. Everybody wanted to be famous. Man, I just want to get on BET. Now that I'm on here, I got to show them the most love, tweet them, support them, retweet them, and show them the utmost respect because they supported my career and solidified me as Soldier Boy would be being on 106 Park all those times and all those fans and me being at the BET Awards. They solidify my career. BET and Soulja Boy, damn, they go hand in hand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, cut that check. 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 I need my check. I need my check. I need my check. I need my E. I need my E. I need my check. BET, 10 million views. I just dropped this two weeks ago. My advice to saying people don't want to, you know, take advantage of the internet, y'all see it, man. Look at my house, look at the wrist, look at the watch, look at the clock, look at the drip, you know what I'm saying? Hey, all my homies is millionaires, all my friends is rich. The phone, Instagram, Twitter, let's go. What's proof more do you need? New is popping up every day, getting rich. It's a new world, you better go get you some.